Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alicia Mo here and welcome to my little main cave once again for more RC video reviews. Today I have got time to actually get back to those LED programmable propellers for DJI Mavic Pro that I posted a video a little while ago. Uh, propellers that you can use to project any kind of picture or messages onto them for DJI Mavic Pro. So today they are sitting right there with my DJI Mavic Pro and we are going to take a closer look at them we're going to talk about them they should have enough charge because I did not use them actually after that video so I will show you how to charge them one by one or how to charge them all at once uh, we will also take a look at how to program them for your custom messages and of course we will bring them for a flight tonight once again and see how well they look in the air all right so basically in one box you get only two propellers okay that's one pair you get a USB cable which is basically a single cable all right so you can charge a one propeller at a time what if you have four propellers what to do then I'll, I'll, I'll just show you how to easily charge all four of them and then you have two front and two rear arm sensors as well you have to install these sensors on your Mavic Pro otherwise this these propellers are not gonna work because so basically so basically these are magnets only and here's a sensor for the magnet on each propeller and whenever the sensor comes on top of the magnet it will decide which LED to turn on and off based on the controller which is installed inside this body of the propeller all right well we're gonna take a closer look at it very very soon so basically if you want four propellers you have to order two of these boxes and you will end up with eight sensors four sensors that you won't be using it so uh, this is kind of tricky anyway so these are program LED flash word propellers for Mavic Pro Platinum this is how they come in the box and outside the box this is how they look so let me just make space these are LED propellers on one side of the propeller you have a LED strip and a sensor going into the controller which is uh, you know right here on the hub of the propeller and the other side there is nothing and this is how the hub looks like you can see it it's actually pretty big hub with a USB port here and of course there is a rechargeable battery inside now that is simply a button battery then there is an off on switch right here that you can use to turn the propeller on and off and of course you have to make sure to turn them on before each flight okay now let's talk about some of the doubts that everybody will have in their minds seeing that there is a huge hub right here like kind of heavy looking hub right here and then looking at the propellers that have LED strip only at one side so definitely we have we have the doubts that how balanced are these propellers because having an LED strip on one side only means this side is heavier and this side is not so the factory has to manufacture one of the blade heavier uh, compared to the other blade that will take the LED strip did they do it or did they not I'm not sure but factory claims that these are perfectly balanced propellers however I am going to be very very honest after installing these propellers here when I flew it I had vibrations a lot of vibrations from one or two of the propellers so tonight when we are going to fly it we're gonna test the vibration again we are gonna test them for vibration once again see how balanced are these and of course to put the factory claim that these are balanced propellers to a test what if they just put uh, two LED strips instead of one both propeller have LED strips and they can even have better picture quality having two LED strips and better balancing that is a one million dollar suggestion I just gave you factory so try to install one LED strip on each propeller and you will have a better and higher definition picture while flying now the other doubt is how balanced is this hub because there's a battery inside because there's a, a, a USB port here because there's an on off switch here there, there's a, 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 a 
there's a PCB board that is controller for LED strip inside so how balanced is this hub maybe you balance the propellers factory but did you balance the hub did you check the hub for balancing because if hub is not balanced it will also cause a lot of vibration all right so these are all the doubts of course we will uh, find out the answers for these very very soon uh, for now how do we for now I have one more issue and that is once you install these propellers here and you fly your DJI Mavic, your DJI Mavic motors will heat up more than normal, much more than normal. They are extremely hot once you land. The motors are heating up when you use these propellers. Flight is all okay, Mavic flies perfectly, Mavic flies very balanced and nice and you will not feel anything except that when you land you will know the Mavic motors will be extremely hot. So are they are these propellers gonna damage the motors in the long run? I'm not sure. We'll find out the answer very soon if one of the motors of my Mavic died. I would hate to have that uh, see that day. Anyway, these are original Mavic propellers, okay? And uh, let me just open one for a comparison. And there you go. So you can see there's a big hub here that you have to deal with because of the controller for the LED. Anyway, rest is the same thing right here. Um, I have tested the original propeller on Mavic and the motors do not heat up with these motors definitely heat up. So that is one of the things you need to keep in mind. I'm being very, very honest here in this review. Now, how do you charge four of these propellers? at the same time that is a question and the answer is very easy you can order from start rc once again this um, usb cable that is four in one so there are four ports right here you can connect four propellers and charge all of them at the same time simultaneously all right next thing now you have to first install these uh, um, sensors on your Mavic Pro each sensor has left and right written on it and they will fit only one way on your DJI Mavic arms so let us fit them up and then we will continue so these will go on the front because they have this kind of shape right here I hope the camera is focusing and the front arm are shaped like that as well so they will go only one way let me see which way just this way they will go only one way don't worry about breaking them just push them in and then slide them all the way to the motor okay slide them all the way to the motor they should be able to fit right here so this right is just like this here okay and make sure they seat properly all right and they are not loose because if they are loose you will have troubles for the sensor to read these uh, magnetic things and you won't be able to uh, you know properly play those messages so one is done and the second one is also pretty easy to do just like this and slide them all the way to the motor okay making sure they seat properly okay just like this you can install all of the sensors there okay now comes the programming so first find out the USB cable supplied it has a driver kind of uh, board here as well so connect it to your computer USB connect the propeller to it now you have to go and find I hope you downloaded this software it's called flash word and run the software and you will see the com prolific USB uh, com port, something like that. Turn the propeller on. All right. And then focus camera, focus. Click on connect. All right. And you will see eight lines are popping up and these are the ones that are loaded from the propeller and they're already loaded on the propeller now all you can do is add well you cannot add more than eight lines so you can delete or edit any line that you want for example FIFA World Cup okay I will just go edit and you can simply input a new text right here uh, let's say say Mavic Pro all right after that save and finish and now instead of uh, FIFA you have Mavic Pro and what you can do is you can click on write to device 
and it will write the changes. It's pretty slow actually, you have to be very patient. Alright, now for um, image what you need to do is click here to upload. It says 128x11 pixels image size only black and white image. So make sure you have that. Otherwise you can simply go upload and you can choose from they have some of their own already made like uh, happy birthday, good luck, huabam, miss you so much, meihua, lihai, I don't know. But so basically you can just just open one of the files. Um, I hope they actually gave you something to click and design the pixels right here so you can actually design your own pixels. Alright. Anyway then you can say save and finish and once again you have to write to device. So this is very very easy. Once you have done it, uh, let's just be patient. It's writing it. Once you have done it, you have to make sure to disconnect your propeller. Okay? Please do make sure to disconnect your propeller. Okay? Just like that. Don't just pull the power off or you know the cable. All right? Now you can turn off the propeller and disconnect. So this is how you program these propellers okay everything is programmed now one last thing that you might be wondering that how well the quadcopter will fold with the sensors on so let's find it out right away there you go fold it and basically the sensors do not do much uh, when it comes to folding, except that the uh, lower arm, the rear arms, are slightly out, slightly out. And with the propellers on, this is how the quad folds down. Alishan Mahir, darky darky. I'm sure you're watching me, darky darky. Well, I'm going to fly the DJI Mavic Pro with the programmable LED flash propellers. You have seen in the video how we program them, uh, you know, to project the personal or custom messages now let's see how it will look like in this dark all right so I'm gonna turn on the propellers first so one is on two is on three is on four is on All right, they're already projecting. DJI Mavic Pro, and backside is Ali Shan Mao. Is another kind of uh, pattern I put. Ah, oh, nice and breezy. Hello, uh, everybody, and fly hard. Another pattern. I love you and crash harder. <laughs> All right. And good luck. Good luck. All the propellers are saying good luck. Sweet. I'm back to Ali Shanmao and call me now <laughs> on the bedside. It says call me now. And there goes the football. Awesome. Nice and breezy. All right, and we go higher. But just this height, you can see patterns very well, but you will not be able to read the messages. Let's see, I fly, because I know which messages are these, so I can see hello and fly hard. But basically I can read hello. The patterns are very beautifully visible, you can see. And here's a football pattern. You can see the abnormal sound from the propellers. It's really abnormal. Abnormal sound from propellers. When I climb up, that means propellers are imbalanced and Mavic is having a hard time actually. So you can see at this height, 
I think I have reached to maximum altitude. All right, and it's barely visible. Very abnormal sound. I'm gonna see. Oh, this propeller is abnormally imbalanced. Abnormally imbalanced. That propeller is abnormal. Let me land and check what's happening with this propeller. Ooh, this propeller is abnormally imbalanced. And that is why the motor is heating up. Ooh, motors have heated up a lot. But anyway, you got my point. You can project custom messages really easily. Let me just fly one more time, just for the reference. There you go. So basically, at this altitude, you have very nice visible propellers. But once you go like 10, 20 meters, then you cannot read messages, but you can see the propellers patterns you can see very well.